serious illness that's lurking in our area, a condition so rare it can easily baffle our doctors. Well, you may not have ever even heard of infant botulism, but Maryland apparently is a hot spot for this infection. ABC 2 News' Catherine Hawley has one family's fight for their message, and we all should listen to it. Listen. Silly baby. When Liam Gallagher was 10 weeks old, the normally happy newborn suddenly became weak and sick. Mom Amanda thought he was going to die. I really didn't think I was taking him home. We, they didn't know what was wrong with him. Doctors at the emergency room ran tests but had no answers. Liam's health was declining rapidly. By day three, his body was limp and his cry came out like a gargle. I just kept thinking he hasn't eaten in three days. You know, what? how long can a baby go without eating or drinking? Finally, one doctor recognized the symptoms, suspecting Liam had contracted infant botulism. It's an extremely rare bacterial infection that causes frightening symptoms like paralysis and even death. What we're most concerned about is that this infection can lead to a patient's inability to breathe because they are so weak. So we want to prevent that at all costs, if possible. Botulism is the most deadly toxin known to man. The spores can be found in some foods like honey, but the bacteria is also in soil and can become airborne. The infection is so uncommon, only between 100 and 150 cases are reported each year in the United States. Turns out, Maryland is a hot spot for infant botulism. According to state data, 10 children contracted the illness in 2015, three of them picking up the infection in Baltimore County. That's where the Gallagher's live, and Liam was fighting for his life. He had all these machines around him, and there was at least three doctors in the room at all times monitoring him. Liam lost his ability to suck and swallow and couldn't control the muscles used to breathe. He was hooked up to a feeding tube and a ventilator. His little body propped in a sling so his lungs would be open. And he just continued to go downhill. It wasn't helping. Doctors ordered the antitoxin treatment called Baby Big, and in just two days, Liam started to improve. Hey, Liam, show us the little hand moving. He moved his fingers that day. I cried. It was really exciting. I mean, he hadn't moved at all. Um, he even opened his eyes a little bit that day. The smallest steps forward became huge milestones. Coughing meant Liam could clear his throat, and hearing her son cry made Amanda ecstatic. Most babies with infant botulism make a full recovery, and for Liam, that meant about four weeks in the ICU and then months of rehab. Liam has fully bounced back. The blonde-haired toddler has a mouthful of teeth and endless energy. Doctors still haven't figured out how Liam came down with infant botulism, and likely never will. Experts say pinpointing where the illness is picked up is difficult, and soil tests are usually pointless. These families who have infants with, who get botulism have done nothing wrong. There is nothing they could have done to prevent it. It's really completely random. Amanda quickly found out she wasn't the only mother in the region to battle baby botulism. I think about 30 different moms reached out to me to like, you know, let me know that he was going to be okay. One family even lived on the same street, only 12 houses away. Their daughter was diagnosed nine months before Liam got sick. The babies were two of the three cases in the county for 2015, a puzzling coincidence. But according to the CDC, the cluster of cases doesn't qualify as an outbreak since health officials can't say for sure the two children caught the bacteria from a common exposure. What kind of bothers me is that this happened to two children and um, it wasn't really told to other families to be on the lookout for what this was. All Amanda wants now is for other parents to be educated about this condition so they won't have to go through the same emotionally and physically draining ordeal. Keep bringing your baby back. Don't ever worry about coming back, you know, calling, picking up the phone. Your, you know, parents' instincts are good and right, and that's what we're here for. Katherine Hawley, ABC2 News.